I think their Inferno's gotten worse with uh, with Nico on the team. My own ideas for why that might be, but apart from that, I think they are the stronger roster. Well, and Babson. This would be a good chance to show if, if they've improved anything. He didn't clear his corner, Launders. He didn't clear his corner and he died. Always be meticulous. But look at Nico. Very quickly yeah. on the heels of Big Clan, tapping into their faces as they rest in place at the top of mid. Damage both directions. But a bit of a compromised A site at the moment. Nico, he is so far back behind them that they know if they push forward, it's maximum a 3v2. But Tizian. Nico's the sweatiest right now. And if he kills him, he's the he becomes the sweatiest. Look at this position. Who goes here? Oh. Well, oh. That's really awkward because now it's 3v2, one on the site. Almanac is the guy. Nico's starting to rotate over. But Baker really taking their time. Yeah, Keto, he's just locked into the boiler room, so they're going to burst out the side of Balk. Amanek still waiting in his corner, and just as he moves... Wow, fuck, after all of that time. Now it's on Nico. Like a grizzly out of hibernation, he is hungry. And, well, Keto's head's already been chomped clean off. Where's he going? Hmm. He was pretty confident there's some kind of lurk play here, but there isn't. He's wrapping around Arch. 1v2, Tizian and Terras are very low. They could be headshots, but Nico as well. Oh, oh, Nico, this is winnable. One in pit. Looking for the 4K, but he jumps and he taps. And Xanteras just dives back and hides inside of pit. Time is of the essence. And Xanteras. I think they feel like they must take a risk here. Whoa. Did he have to touch all those different things for the smoke to land? He put in the code. An op shot comes in from Kenny S. Big. They have 35 seconds. They're they thinking going? about this. They're regret. They're already, they're pre-regretting going B. Yeah, they're like, I don't oh. want to do this. But I'm going to have to do this. Kenny S back by the dark. And taps it. Just able to skate right by it. But, of course, two more CTs still hiding in their holes. Nico, he's got that bomb carrier dead. Searson and Keto, they deliver a kill apiece. And it's all on Nexa. He's low. 58 health. Fine timing. Fine tuning. Oh. And Searson now shooting through desperation. There is no time. They do not have the bomb in time. Nexa just disappears like a magician. And magically, G2 take their first round. Well, he does what he's supposed to do. And uh, G2, again, it's kind of a good gamble, right? And this, oh my god, this alt push. Yes, please. Jesus. Look at Hunter go. And squeeze. <laughs> They're going to try to get into this B site. Flashbangs over top of the smoke. We got Kenny with the Fomus. Nexo with one as well. And that flashbang's good enough. Nice assistance here from Hunter. Tizian looks to maybe turn this one back. There's two CTs over in their spawn. And, of course, one on this T-ramp because Amanek. Maybe Jackfruit. You can jack, jack open the site. It's possible, but it's going to be difficult with the two CTs Oof. on this cross. Yeah, he knows it. He just gives his back up. Either they're there or they're not. Three players in the apartment push. That's what the answer seems to be. Whether it's a passing grade or a fail, time to find out. Kenny S hits that headshot immediately. Hunter falling away from the arch side is Kenny. Well, he's a little desperate. He's a little pinned down, but he's still able to fight his way out. Xantera's inside of the pit. Searson, he's got two TTs, oh. two CTs with their backs turned. He gets the one in the distance, maintains the spray, and now Hunter is all alone. They know exactly where he's at. They should. I mean, they just killed Kenny. Yeah, sure enough. You're not getting away with this one, Hunter. Or is he? Two kills, goes back, three kills. Whoa! Oh. Hunter. Let's go head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I'm down to sign up for this. One of the most legendary off players fast. in all of CSGO versus the new blood. I thought you were going to say something dumb like versus Kenny S. <laughs> nah, 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 Kenny. He's got the first one. Hunter picks up Tabson as he turns his back towards mid. Tizian burned to a crisp. Gets executed by Amanek. And then Xanteras trades as Amanek tries to fade down into the pit. Searson, all that's left over. This aggression down middle with the smoke on ramp. And like a bad magician, sometimes it just doesn't work. But at least they try. So Xanteras, he gets thrown out into middle off of the flashbang from Tizian. And sure enough, it is empty-handed thus far for Big. His deagle gets blown away over Kenny. to Arch, and Kenny's not missing shots. Today. Hunter's going to sweep in and get himself one near two. USP shoots through. Kenny comes back, and G2 tie at five. Yo, Kenny's hitting everything right now. 
Closest rotate's gonna be Nico, and he's still not even on the cusp of spawn. Wow. They Next gave up, up. B-plate all the way back on the side, had no rotates coming in. Doesn't quite get there. Frag grenade is good for about half of Tabson's health. That's worth... Ooh! What? Was he up on anything? Oh, monsieur. Kenny, yes. Very nice. He that's low, Tapson's low. Yep, that's going to justify the retake attempt off of the back of that one. They flush one off of the dark corner. Tapson's off. Oh, no. Keto, he gets Hunter. Zantara is going to answer. Now it's all on Nico. He comes running in only to die at the hands of Zantara's. I... Molotov here for Nico. He goes forward off the flash. Oh, two flashes. Very nice. Really good. That's Nexus who gets the assist. Yep. And they can pick up uh, an extra smoke. That's enormous. Nico will go and grab that. And there's two types of players, right? Okay. One type when the Molotov's at their feet, but they hold W. And that's Nico in this position. Ooh, M4 from Amanek right on the corner. Tabson just kind of jumping around in jubilation. A jolly little stroll out mid, but it's cut down just like Tizian is. And everybody from Big Clan can take the exact same route. A molly thrown over. Searson, he's making noise on short side, but look at this. Flank from Kenny S. Okay, he gets there. It's all on Amanek. He just needs to stop the bomb. He's inside of the corner. Four seconds. No bomb plant. Amanek locks down the A site, but G2 sweating bullets. 100%. Gonna go for the little boost here. Is Searson. Ooh, this is interesting. They go for the boost as Searson sets up shop. Oh, and then they flash back. Kenny gets the angle. Santera is just going to take the shot here. I got you, Mr. President. Tizian Two over the towards halls. the apartments. He's going to find one, but Kenny S is just not missing shots. I don't know how he got that keto kill through Yo, smoke. Oh, that's enormous. That's the A site open. Imagine that. Nobody else left here on A. But, I mean, if G2 scramble fast enough, if they just scuttle butt over here, then maybe... They can set up a defense in time. Kenny S, 16, 17, and 9. He has every single kill for G2 this round. And G2 just firing up step by step. This is a winning process. And now Searson's posted on the same angle, but Nico, he's going to walk in and blindside both. G2, a 9 6 CT side. Philosophical question Think about to start it. the half. Think about it, man. 4T's coming around short side. We got Keto with the dual Berettas. And he just starts popping them bad boys. Tizzy, and he's going to walk out from apartments. Sees a player. Oh, oh, oh. Turns around. Yo, hits been Nico. Nice. Slaps him back. And leaves these two T's inside sight. Nexa. He's going to back up a little. Oh, that's actually huge to get out of the site. Absolutely is. Kenny S, where is he going to go and how is he going to come back? He won't. Tizzy and executes him. Big Clam pick up second pistol too. It's Nexa versus Tizian on Banana. 56 yeah. HP, though, for Nexa. Tizian going to play the Boomich. I wonder if they're... Okay, they're actually looking for the wrap. Ooh, he lines them up. The Almost. timing on the MP9. Oh, but one will fall back. This is a scary split. For oh, my goodness. If Nico gets the first kill, Tizian will refrag. Then Hunter they over from the CT spawn, and Tizian keeps on going. He just dives back. Oh, my God. Just able to tuck away. Picks up the AK. Both these players on G2 incredibly low, but they've made themselves a little wiggle room with this post plant. Kenny S gonna take it over to construction and this is crazy. I mean oh, they have a they... spot to actually get lucky on one, you know, an opening kill on either side. Is Hunter gonna be clearing this is the question. Oh, he finds Santeras with his head turned, back, dives yeah. back down. Now Kenny S, all of a sudden he's gonna have the backside of the CTs if he had stuck around. A little drive-by attempt here from Hunter, trying to minimize himself, trying not to get hit. Kenny, he's in the open, and Searson swaps to the sidearm to take him down, but not in time. Wow, the 2v3 with that low HP, they play the perfect spots. That was actually very nicely done from G2. We are right back. Right back to the action. G2, three rounds the lead on this T side, and right off of the tech pause, Big Clan going to try and uh, catch him off guard here. Two kills quickly Dude, off of the banana fight, but Tizian, he tries to hide behind half wall, hits another headshot, and takes Kenny to 30. But it is still that man advantage held on to by Big. Tizian's hitting everything too today. Very good game from him. Keto back B site. 
see if he can deliver. Ooh, yes! Three kills with the A1S. I think this part of the strategy worked out okay. And they just come running around the corner, like a little bit off timing with the flash. Searson, he's out in the open. One will cross into the site. Searson still has open lines here. Oh, but he won't get the kill. Tabson goes down behind him. Searson, he's trying to have impact. Oh, he can, couldn't stop the bomb either. Oh, what an unfortunate round for Searson. He's just trying to find something, but instead gets nothing, and his teammate falls. We got one frag grenade still here on Nexa. Two health bars for G2 at that halfway point. Big Clan, they've got the utility for the retake, but will they hit their shots? It's Amonex standing on top of his teammate right here in the pit, looking to lock down the CT cross. Nexa throws the frag from Banana. Instant headshot, a second for Amonex. He's got three kills on the round, and Searson still, after all his teammates fall around him, will have very little impact. All Two kills, but in the end, it amounts to nothing. G2. What a round. Searson, they're going to do that same play with Nexa up front. Yeah. See if Searson can get impact. He is still over by Arch. Tizian off of the pit with two kills. Headshot comes in from Hunter. He looks back towards Searson, but now that off is rattling off, and Nico's up close and personal. He dies out to Searson, who dives behind boxes, and Kenny S then stops him with bomb on his back. In this 1v3, he's going to get that down. Keto and Tabson both coming around from Arch side. Smoke soon to fade. And Kenny S, he is on fire tonight. 23 kills, 13 deaths, catching Keto with a little bit of damage and engulfing the bomb in flames, wasting no time to wrap back around apps. They've got this smoke and they don't throw it on him, but rather the C4. Kenny S, not going to peek yet. Keto, the only player with a kit. Oh, and Tabson's now been taken down. Keto, he's going to try to stick this. Kenny, he needs to find the angle. The defuse is Keto's. And even with the kill right after, you wouldn't believe me. Smoke grenades coming over the top here at the A site. Tizian on arch to be tested. And he's able to get himself one and then some. 40 damage onto Nexa added before this commitment to the A site comes through for G2. Searson dodges and just over the boxes, he pops Nico's head. And it's not the final threat. Zantara is still in the graveyard stairs. Here's that bomb plant, pops up and shuts them down. 12 rounds each. Okay. That's a lot of footsteps being heard. Tizian gonna go ahead and start spraying through it. Finds a headshot. Underhands the frag grenade. That's a little bit of extra damage. Tizian still hanging on here and a teammate by his side. Not to mention still players presence closer towards Arch Kido. Oh, sorry, Nico. That's right, he's on the T side. Gets caught out on the balcony. Nexa is going to be killed alongside Hunter. So total shutdown here with the little buy of G2. Um, surely you'd expect in this position, you're mauling Searson, but he'll get an open shot. Nexa's out. They don't hold him back. They wanted to peel out of mid there. You can see. Mm -hmm. Sit inside the smoke a little bit. Oh, they do it just to pull Tizian out. We got Zantara's inside of the site. Searson from pit has no pressure. As of yet, now he sees them coming in from two directions, but Santeras, he survives on a single point of health. And his frag grenade just took a hundred off of those last two T's. Big Clan are on fire. It has been hard fought, but uh, Big Clan, they're looking like the better team in each and every single one of these rounds. G2 gonna just try and strong arm their way into the B bomb site. We've got Tabson and Keto in position. Tabson's just gonna stay tucked, not a problem. He now starts to activate and catches two kills. Headshots are crisp. Tabson. Hall's pop incoming, but they look ready for this. They look yep. like they want this. Tizian needs the flashbang. Zantara's right down beneath him, and he's going to deal with the first player who falls with bomb into pit. Two men left for G2. They try to challenge up short. And Tizian just going to jump onto the box here, dodging the threat that is Nico and closing onto the head of Nexa. Big, that is an important win here on Inferno. A convincing victory once they took to that CT side and an unleashed look for Searson at times. Now throw a flash. Pop some heads. Uh, I got a good. smoke on the side of it. Oh, they're, ve they're very annoyed by this smoke. They're going to try to flash through this. They'll only get them killed, it looks like. Searson, oh. oh, he's farming. That's the rating you're talking about. Three down on the split, all headshots. No B-fake required.
Wowza. He's not done yet. Look at that. He's going to ace, Connor. Look at that pile of dead bodies over there. He's coming for the ace right now. Look. He's got Nexa up close and then Hunter to deal with. Both these two T's on the other side. Tizian, don't you dare. Searson's going to extend. Goes for that fourth. Finds it. And oh, he's on for the ace. He's got Nexa in the corner. So Searson. Five kills in the pistol like it's nobody's business. A bonus here for a big one. Oh, Searson, though. He can make that thing look like an op. Yeah, it doesn't matter what your opponents have. Big Clan looking cool and comfortable. Oh, nice. Tizian. That is something special. A couple players come through smoke. He keeps that MP9 rattling off those little 9 millimeters. Kenny S going to find another headshot. He played really well on Inferno. He was hitting everything. He was 25 kills. He was 7-0 and zero in opening duels. And G2 still did not win. Tizian, if he crawls forward a little too much, Nexus got him. Dead to rights. Just sat back as an anchor on long. This bodes well for G2. They've yep. got Cat under their control with nobody on the A side. This is just a save, basically. I don't think I'm licking. Re try to retake mid with the CTs or push upper or something or just save, but looks like Amonek's going to try to punish this and oh, he'll do a hell of a job. Yeah, that's the off down as well. And they'll take the site. This one just slow crawl into a loss. They're just going to see if there's anybody else here. AI prediction. 3% of the time. Oof, that quickly becomes 1%, right? You'd think. Surely. Maybe less. Oh. Ooh, making a ton of sound. Still gets his headshot versus Zantares. We've got G2 on the board. Of course, depending on how far you go, you could get punished. That's... And... Oh my god, he's... Whoa, he's going all the way in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's just two types of players, I guess. Zantares, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Nico, easy pickup. Tapson's got himself a second. Oh, nice they composure. needed that. Little love tap from his teammate, so be it. He's trying to find another lineup through the doorway. Bomb now crossing over. Two players from G2 inside of the site. And Hunter very much back in tunnels. Kenny S comes off the bomb plant. Full belt of utility here for Searson to get the retake rolling. He throws out the smoke first and foremost. Incendiary comes in and the double flash goes over. Tizian going to make the most of it, but the player down beneath the window, that's Amanek with two headshots as Hunter comes in with one and G2 find their third. Real clean from Amanek and the retakes from Big have been pretty strong so far. Not trying anything too special just yet. Oh, that is some really great damage on Nexa. I think he was looking to try to re-aggress after that. Tizian will hold on to Long and Searson will see a few crossing. He doesn't know how far they've gone. My goodness, Amanek. Blindingly flat, fast. Tizian missing some shots as well there as they challenge beyond the bomb site. We got Keto over towards mid boxes. Two CTs in spawn, meant to be held back by Hunter, but he looks away just as they start to come around the cusp. Nico takes the front runner position, and we've got G2 now locking in their fifth round. Yeah, they're falling apart a little bit, not getting these shots in anymore. They look so strong to start this game off, and quickly the momentum has swung back in favor of G2. And they are winning rounds cleanly. They're getting every kill. Maybe they get a kill. Oh, Tizian sees one with his Deeg out. Quickly jumps back into the cover. Nexa is going to cross over to the ramp and pops him. Ooh, Nexa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 and 6 farming the anti-eco frags. But probably needed, as you mentioned. A threat with the, with the pistols. Especially, oh, oh man. I mean, these are anti eco kills, but we got nine of them. Crisp. Definitely. They absolutely need it. Is that for his first kill? There it is. Long range deagle in the post plant situation. Zantaris. Oh. oh. First, second, and third kill. Are you serious? Bomb halfway to. Oh. oh. What the hell? Wait, can he actually get on it? I think there's. He could. He could have defused. He could have, right? It would have been close. That was very it's a close. 10 second defuse. Yeah. What? What did I just watch? I don't know what what the hell just where did that? that come from? Buy up from big. Now we have not seen any success in eight rounds straight. 
They're just gonna go and throw the Hail Mary at the B-bomb site. Keto under question. Zanteras, a rifle kill. And he's looking for more. They line up for him a little bit. He deals out more damage. Amanek down to only nine. Tabson caught in the doorway, sits to 21. And he goes right back for more. Hits the headshot, but can't quite get the better of Nico. Yeah, they got some beastly B takes and uh, Big already rethinking their strategy at this point. Shot looks on point. How much has his ADR come up after this? I mean, it was probably near non-existent. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's now... It's now higher than both Keto and Tizian. Really? But now there's extra pressure over on A. Flash and a frag, but two T's push past that utility already. One of them already cut down. That was Nico with the bomb, but they... Uh, I don't know if they know about Hunter. He's going to be able to get himself one kill off of Kenny. And the long peak from Nexa. That's how they get this back to the 2v2. Oh! <laughs> Kenny S. Dunked. The S stands for succulent. So he's going to be paranoid about someone at long. There's no one there. And... He'll drop a smoke, waste it, find a Nexa, can't readjust his aim. Another good round for G2. And, um, you know, it could be a very meaningful round for Big Clan. I, I don't think their T side is a sleeper, but the way G2 are playing. Yeah, they just seem so fired up. Yeah. And they're charging into anything they want. They're taking it with ease. Keto, good for a second kill here on the B site. So, yes, this fifth round could be meaningful. They're going to have to get it back. The B site still under the feet of G2. Keto wastes no time running in. Tabson, he's going to catch them off guard, but Hunter is still able to find the headshot. Tizian, he turns away, and this was the 4v3 on site. They still fail to close 11 rounds in a row between these two teams. Yeah, no kidding. We just got to see some kind of life out of Big Clan. It's been so long, but they'll begin the pistol with a frag. It's then Nico with the trade kill. Going down over on long. Yeah, got the first one with the ace from Searson, which was really cool. And now next up, we'll move in. Searson will punish. Xanteris meets up with another kill as well. Continuing on, showing us that that slow start was meaningless. Standing in the face of statistics, keeping his composure attitude good, I guess. And now Big are definitely on for what looks like a, a pistol round victory. We'll see Almanac moving in. Taps and takes out the first one for ones just fine enough with the info on Kenny on top. It's going to aggress up Catwalk. Searson inside of the site with that bomb now down. It's going to take some crisp USP headshots. He's got confirmation on both players. They decide to take their duel. And Big Clan with a fifth round thanks to the second pistol. Providing overwatch inside of the A site. Molotov's on the ramps, gonna buy time here for G2. Let me get that counter utility back the other direction. Tizian's gonna get tagged down to 60. Nexa just keeps his head tucked. And then as he pops up, it's alongside Nico. So much success here for G2. Tabson, he's all that's left over with seven seconds left. There is no way he wins it. And G2 gonna shut down that spree of T rounds. Wow, look at Nexa. He's actually flanked all the way. Wow, he's going so fast. You gotta love this from Nexa. They're not gonna expect after getting long control just about five seconds ago that someone's gonna be fast flanking them top mid. Yeah, and that opens the rotate from Hunter to just try and throw himself at this B bomb site. He actually gets killed pretty quickly, but Amanek with the AWP cuts down Zantera. It's a little bit of a stuttered step here from Big Clan. And Keto, he is looking to save the day. Nexa already flanking him. Nexa's 23 and 12. Hot damn. He's only got 22 HP. He's getting closer. Ooh. Free him almost looked perfect. Molly goes deep onto the catwalk. Let's see if these pistols inside the smokes can prevail. Everybody's hiding. Look at these little weasels. Tabson's going to catch Amanek, but there is still Hunter inside the site. Finally, he's gonna die. Kenny S able to get over towards those boxes. I believe C Searson has seen him. Bullets puncturing the wooden boxes. Kenny S, he knows his days are lit. Oh.
still no rotate either from Nico. So, I mean, this is very much on Hunter. And now that Amonex incredibly low, hiding back by car, somebody better clear him. And, oh, he's still able to get himself a second kill for the play. Nico, oh, gets blown open by Zantaras. That's the kill that matters. If Nico's able to get one and then fall back through the window, then we for sure get a retake attempt. But Big Clan, they muscle their way through. Zantaras, right out the window. Super soaker. <laughs> through the head, in the wall. Nexa right up. Looking for two. Oh, Nexa wants to recover that op for Kenny. His gift to Kenny, Christmas is coming. The collab, no collab. Oh, and he doesn't keep the op. That's all that really matters to Big Clan. They've been doing nothing but winning, holding the Ws. So many Ws, they're starting to Look fall this, out of their Lewis, pockets. Lewis, 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 Lewis. That's a dirty trade, man. So come on, G2. Don't do this to yourselves. Peek down middle gives Hunter the first kill. We've got G2 with a man advantage. It's been five in a row from Big Clan. But that's enough games. Kenny S, he's got Searson as well. Five versus three. This has to be a 14th round for G2. Particularly egregious flank or anything that's coming in and Nico looks like he's about to what the hell man oh my god they were Tito just close blind or something three it's versus five down to the 2v4 now all on Tabson and Kenny S doesn't Whoa. miss those it didn't even look like he flicked yet <laughs> that was so fast big flash on long Tizian oh my god he just he just hit him with the smoke grenade. Tizian, he's inside of it, caught by Kenny. Man advantage here for G2. They are oh, shooting for the 15th round. Long, but they're up Yeah, back. they're going to charge right into this. It's Kenny S on the corner, and he's going to just go ahead and lay this down. Kenny S looks so good on Inferno, and he has been the difference maker in these last two rounds. He's waiting for somebody to arrive on the screen. Taps in. He's been able to cross over. Frag grenade goes in. Keto. He is going to find Amanek back behind him. If he also kills Hunter, then suddenly G2 are in a bit of a weird spot. And sure enough, it's happened. Molotov at the feet. Two kills for Nico. Keto. 29 health. Two CTs lying ahead. And they've got a smoke grenade to completely block him off. This is going to be a tough task for Keto. Bomb tap, defuse comes through. G2, they take their 15th round. Kenny S finding a couple of op shots, and Nico delivers the 3K. And now we're going to get a little bit of B pressure, but a crossfire here between Nico and Hunter. That's a lot of firepower. Great flash. Nico, he's going to be able to get himself two kills. Searson answers with a flick of the op shot. Nexa, he's right on the side, but Searson's delivering. And Kenny trying to cower back. It's all on Kenny. He's going to come right back through, and Searson saves the day with those three op shots. Holy hell, all the madness at mid of the Searson versus Kenny duel. That might be something spicy. T-smoke in his face. Oh, what? What? That was on what are player crossing players? blue. That's so insane. Next is going to find one. This could be it. Finally an answer, and it comes from Tabson Zantaris. He's going to charge up into the site. He sees Kenny, takes his head off, dives back into the cover. Nico, he is split between two directions, and they're using utility at the moment. He tries to strike. He gets one, and Cap falls. G2 looking to take us to Mirage unless Searson can deliver three CTs all lying ahead, and they take him down in the end. An absolute barn burner. All 30 rounds needed here for map two, and sure enough, G2 survived. Yeah, even a 16-14 win over big on Dust2 at this point is kind of a strange result for it to get that close, for sure. Especially after an 11-4 lead. Hunter able to find that first headshot. We got Amanek inside of the site. Oh, oh my god. Tizian takes down Hunter as well. We're into the two versus two. Nico's been gushed down to six, and Tizian kills him. Searson confirms the last position. Nexo rushes out. P2K to the headshot, and that bomb is not planted for the cat player. Plus, Nexa has a kit. He gets on top of it. Tizian's going to have to make a move or call the bluff, and now he's buying precious time. Nexa yet again going for the fake here. Tizian just shoulder peeking, and oh! Nice. 
Whoa, one put right between the eyes. Not bad, not bad. That's a tough one. Yeah, but movement from G2. It's just looking to lock down on the B site. Hunter is going to get bested by the Deagle. Galil is good for the trade frag, so that's enough for the bomb plant, certainly. Nexa comes over, gets tagged by the scout, and Searson follows up with a second shot on point. Oh, that was a narrow gap. And the force buy works. No kidding. They're out of there. Wow. I think Big left a window where G2 could have, you know, got some information, maybe flanked inside of, inside of the, inside of Get Right. And I think you can see from where the X's are. Hard to say right now. There's no smoke down on Cat. Three CTs here. A nade to try to punish. Kenny S will peek out. And the CTs just swarm mid. So they're just waiting for that the entire time. And it ends up working out well. It makes I actually really wonder where the if the bomb was trying to get into connector. It looks like it was trying to. But then they left Cat wide open and Nexus is just gonna lock down that bomb. Tizian. He'd need a kill right now on this A site, and he's not going to find the player actually behind the triple. Not at all. Nico doing a very good job of just staying silent until Tizian walks right into him. <laughs> Deagle to the back of the dome, and Nexa closes. G2 able to win. See? Job accomplished. Smart. Very smart. Job done. Brevity is the soul of wit. Eminet gets caught as he jumps across towards the apartment. Tizian, still sitting in the exact same spot, now has Hunter maybe to deal with. That AK back by Van. Smoke goes over towards the market window. Hunter still tucked into the position. Oh, Zanteras gets the better of him. Now Nico, he is in an awkward spot. He is going to get swarmed here by Big. No kill at all by G2. Nothing. Let him even play it. No. May I reiterate? That's a close one. Hunter, he's standing on top of the ladder here. He's got two players ahead of him. Oh! Okay, that's why we... No way! Holy In God. Searson, we trust. Wow. And in the scout, he trusts. A no-scope headshot on the ladder, but Nexa, he slips in behind two. Xanteras doesn't turn fast enough, and Keto goes down with the bomb dropped. Nexa is the savior of the day. And nice movement from Tabson. Nice. Playing the cat push, lickety split, with a smoke still in front of him, and only 15 seconds left to play. Nexa does it all. Ooh, amazing from Nexa. Who's going to take the edge here in round oh, seven? No one's here in the setup with Nexa, which makes it a little sketchy. Oh, they'll just run up off the Molotov. I feel like to have support there would have been kind of nice. Oh, we saw the angle. Oh, and he even goes his into it. His team flash. That's awkward. He actually used his team's, that team flash against them. That was beautiful from Kenny. Kenny laying down the lead here, standing on the fire. Forced into the open, and Xanteras burns into a crisp. Nico off of the staircase, eats the flashbang. That one's from Amanek. Team flashes left, right, and center. Bomb planted on the triple stack. And that is, of course, for Cat. It's Tizian in position. Hunter walks into the crosshair. Down he goes. And Tizian now with a quick... Ooh, nope. Misses the jump. No, I think he did this on purpose. Okay. Okay. You just can come down the bottom connector, but you can't jump out without crossing otherwise. Right, I feel you. I get you. Oh, n dude, Almanac did not tap the bomb. Almanac's just creepy. Tizian crawling has no inward. reason to peek. <laughs> I mean, there's no time. Almanac has played himself. Even if he gets the kill right here, there's no time to make it back. That's a close from Tizian. Uh oh. Shot by Almanac. Lays down the smoke grenade because he knows they're about to pounce. Amanek then just dives back inside of the smoke. Hunter, he's the player that gets killed. And Amanek, well, he's still alive and fighting. He's able to get back behind by bench. Where the and he has help in the form of Nico, but there is also this flank from Tabson. Nobody back behind Tabson. I think they should wait until the commit out. Oh, but the, the CTs are also waiting for Nexa. Nexa yeah. Nico's watching this big play from Nexa. Tizian gets his flank dealt with, but Bomb is still beyond down here on the B site. And Tizian, he's got no way to fight out. So G2, they'll take that fourth CT round. The other thing uh, is that everyone didn't commit when they had dodged that first op shot. Ooh, another jump across this time. Doesn't kill him, but Searson incredibly low. Dies out to the grenade on the follow-up. Nice throw there from Kenny. Good good arm. Oh! Ooh. Tizian, double deagle headshot. Now all of a sudden, this 12th round looking like Big Clan could close it. A missed op shot from Amanek. 
He knows he's got Tizian pinned into the corner. No utility here to get him out. And Santeras, well, he may have crossed over the sandwich, but he's only working with 15 health. And Hunter hones in on the head of Tizian. Oh my god, another 1D. Santeras, he's gonna slip through oh. and shoots Amanek down. I mean, Amanek, he's been really great when uh, no one's here to help. And Seriously? he's even got a little of assistance here, so he'll jump off for that kill. He knows exactly how to re-aggress. Drops the smoke down for himself. Stands his ground. He's posted up. Warden in the watchtower. Off in the hands. And he'll get rattled by a few bullets. That stabs him to find a pretty important kill. Oh my god. Turns that one upside down. Kenny S now gonna tap away with the <laughs> USP. Drops the bomb. It's Santeras on for the clutch. He's got nothing to lose, so let's see it. Kenny's gonna miss a shot. Cat Peak doesn't come through. Damage will. Oh, Kenny, a little slippery slide by. And it's all about the apartment's flank in the end. Nexa, he gets him. Cat play again. They're going quick. Kenny, he's in the underpass. Oh, so we can hear this. Sure enough. Another calls it. Two up and B. Nico. Three easy kills. Let's look at this. G2. Definitely going to finish off this half with a bit of a statement. And then that makes us recall how things could have been if they didn't die out to the 5 1 Deeks. This could have been G2 with a lead, and they could have closed out their CT side with five rounds in a row. Instead, we get that anomaly. Those two back to back rounds by way of five Deeks. CT's up mid. Hunter's way back holding. No guarantee he'll actually. Guarantee a kill. Tizian tries to fight him. Standing toe to toe, and he finds the tap. Oh, that's uh, gonna be a frustrating way to die, but it is the fight that Hunter wanted. And Terra's will he go peeking? Yes, and he'll get instantly punished. Headshot right away. Oh, that's something special. That's beast mode, man. That's something not many people can do, for sure. Nico with some P250 skill. Tizian, he hears this footsteps, and it's going to be three keys fighting him. He thought maybe he could cut a player off. I don't think he anticipated that much. And while the bomb wraps back around towards ramp, we've still got Nico patrolling his post. After those first two P250 kills, he wants himself another. But Tabson's fallen silent. Comes off of the staircase. Now that he's been spotted, they could just go for the fight, and sure enough, Nico's going to take him down. All right, standard default, Nico coming down mid fast like a ball of lightning, but Searson will stand and fight and win his duel. That stops a lot of forward progress from the T side. They want to turn this into what looks like a connector split, and now it actually seems like they're moving even faster. All oh, Keto! Oh, Keto, he, he doesn't get traded out. Hunter, it looked like he gave up on that fight for a second, and now it's a four-on-two situation, G2. And then because the other T had already pushed out onto Tetris, they knew there was no push. It was a process of elimination. But Keto strikes them down before they have much of a chance. Kenny S, wow! He bounces off the door frame, and that suddenly opens up the B site wide. But Kenny dies in an attempt to cross the windows. Amanek inside of the smoke, called out by Keto. That's his third kill over on this A site. Ooh, they just get by underneath. Hunter, he's gonna be boosted up. Oh, but he's caught jumping into the window. Mm. Well, I really didn't seem prepared for that. The one M4 now... AK, rather, down. Oh, he saw his head. Keto gonna get that bomb dropped. Amanek answers, but again, bomb is in the open. A little bit awkward. We do have Nexa, who has picked up that AK off of his dead teammate, and now looks to keep presence off of the bomb site. But the problem here for G2 is that the moment they go out to grab that bomb and push into the site, we do still have Searson over towards Ticket. If Tizian were to have just been killed, that creates a question mark because the jungle men, well, they would have looked back by window. Instead, we've got Searson getting that lockdown as expected. Amanek Tech 9 able to answer, but then the trade frag right back. Nexa in the halls, actually, and Searson, another opening kill on Nico. Same place, same players. That was a pretty fortunate shot. Oh, and Tabson. Well, he'll stop this rush as well. Things are not looking too good here for G2. Couple of rounds now with the rifles. Or they're getting stuffed before they can even get the round started. Yeah, I'm gonna 
ball into the connector, and that costs him as Tabson still commits to the corner. Now, Kenny S knows this position, but still costs him 93 HP to get that kill. And Nexa, he's also been found out. So Big Clan know exactly where the last two players are at. And despite that, Nexa still able to get a frag off of the MAC-10. And he's got Searson pinned into this position. It's so close, in fact. Tabson's just going to make quick work of Nico. Smoke fades. 2v5. They have lost every single duel in his default. He and gets all of them have been pretty 50-50. Four rounds of loss bonus for G2 at this point. I think Next, he saw uh, Yeah, definitely just saw Keto, but Keto's going to draw him into the crossfire. Does a lot of damage. He's down to one HP. 99. Good flash into Searson. That kind of delays him ever so slightly. There's a chance that G2 can bust out onto this bomb site. We got Nexa jumping over to the staircase. Still, it's the palace peak that's the riskiest part, and Kenny S dives back into the cover. 30 seconds left. Yeah, yeah. One bullet finishes off Nexa. He's close left. And he's going to give himself another chance here. Headshot. 25 seconds they left they over. Plant. They can't even afford to do that, can they? Frag grenade. But Kenny, yes, he hits another shot. The frag does nothing. I mean, it doesn't do anything to Nexa. Kenny's down to 50 because of it. There is only 10 seconds to spare here. Kenny takes more damage, but G2 are still up. And Tizian finally puts Nexa down. Kenny, he hits that first shot, has enough time to bomb plant. Zanteras comes running in. And Kenny, you thought maybe, just maybe. Minute 40, and Nico is already dead. Dude, everything on CT side has been extraordinary for Big. They're just going to try to crush into the B site. Amanek, he's good at holding this, but Tizian inside the smoke slips back oh, beyond it. Move. Half health, that's and he finds cover. But Hunter, well, he finds the headshot into Searson, and these T's trying to figure out where the hell he's got off to. He's got a few shots left, but look at this. What the hell Hunter and Kenny picking up guns. And it looks like G2 have managed to win a round out of nothing but the B burst. Santeras one versus three. Uh, the cat plant. This is one of those crazy rounds that we're going to need like a third person replay of just to see how everything unfolded, how they get their hands on guns, when and where. And that's assuming that they close it. Santeras has Hunter up close, and that's all it's going to take. G2, that is a lifeline. And another push. He'll have to hit a flick. It could get mowed down through this. Oh, he stays very careful with his crosshair. Not to flick too much or panic in that position. But uh, these are very nice trades for the CT side. And I think he's going to try to manufacture a kill before he chills out just because it's a three on four. Tizian. Last time Kenny jumped in here and just wrecked him. Not going to happen twice. Kenny walks in instead of jumping. And Hunter, oh, he's also going to get taken down. Tizian has become the star of this evening. Absolutely. And that is not something we say about Big too often. It is all on Nico. 45 seconds, no bomb control. This is looking like Big on a 14th round, and Searson confirms it. No substantial rounds to prove that they're good enough in this half. So we've slowly just moved. Oh, Jesus. That was an amazing adjustment from Omenek, and that changes things completely. Yep, that's, that's the off down as well. Ferociousness sinking into the A site. Zanteres, he's only going to get himself one, but the smoke pops. Keto almost able to hold the line. He dives back behind Ticket. It's Keto and Tizzy in two versus three, or G2 with a 13th. And like you were just saying, they lack substantial rounds, but this was the heads up, guns v guns. And then Searson gets caught out in the open, sitting in connector. They don't think they're going to continue with that same pace all the way in through the round. Almanac, look at this adjustment. Oh, it's the first bullet. And then Searson, the follow-up flash. The protocols were still in place. Searson, I think he's going to take a shot fall out. Uh, CTs, I mean, they're not in a terrible spot. Could come down to Kenny. Kenny, instant head headshotted by Zanteris. Out of the round. That's the op. The cat split shut down. It's all they have. And we have G2 getting closer quietly. Oh. This is on Tizian. 
They have 15 seconds to spare, and he finds that immediate headshot, dives down behind Van, can't quite kill a second. Zanteres, it is his time to shine, and he dives back around the corner. Time is of the essence. Hunter, he goes ahead, takes one kill, smokes in front of him. Keto's gonna try to charge this Hunter gun up, but Keto USP and Big with a 15th on the board. Ooh, they are not playing games. This is the third map. They're gonna put it all on this one A hit. And yes, they're gonna commit up through it. Let's see what it goes down. Tabson, he's gonna activate, gets a little bit closer. It's an immediate kill versus Kenny. Nico, he answers, and they've seen it all. Nico out from Palace, three T's up the ramp, and nobody here to stop them. Nobody here to slow down this bomb plant whatsoever. Oh, Santeras, he catches one through the smoke, though. That's definitely gonna help. Tizian starts to round the corners of Ticket. We've got Nico pinned into Palace position. He is down there. Balk is occupied, and Santeras starts to cross. He sees him, gets the headshot, kills come in. It is all on Hunter. He's here for Sandwich, and he delivers two, but it's through and through for Big. A close here on Mirage, and they take the victory over G2, sending them to the lower bracket. Holy hell, what a win from Big. They actually do it after dropping the second map on a huge comeback. And we have to talk about how good Big looked.